Hey, tubers and groovers, welcome to this edition to Take the Fear Out of Gear with me, Jason Bangers. And me, Mr. Chumley Warner. And have a little look, come on. So what does this remind you of, dude? You're really asking me that? I've no idea. It doesn't, <laughs> doesn't look familiar at all. No, it doesn't look like a... <laughs> that was my terrible Wookiee impression. Hang on, I used to be able to do a good Wookiee. <laughs> right. It's the Millennium Falcon, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it isn't, but it damn well looks like it. Yeah. Well, this is this is this is called the Casio XWPD1, and we'll tell you a bit more about it in a minute. Tell you what, I hate I hate videos where people keep saying we'll tell you more. So we just play it so people can oh, hear yeah, it. Oh yeah, straight good idea. Go on in, have a listen. Let's have a groove with this then. Anyway, there's a little sample there, um, just just a, I don't know, it's not a demo, it's just a pattern, I guess, so, yeah? Uh, I think that I think that is the that is one of the demos in it, okay. that one. Uh, I, think, I don't know how many demos there are, but there's, there's, that just gives you an idea of what you can do. I think it's now time for... It's that time. Jummy Stats. It's that time again, Si. It is that time. It's that time. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. So this is this is the what's it? The Casio XWPD1. It's a whole load of stuff in a Millennium Falcon shaped box. Oh, awesome! And it is, it's, it's, let's make no mistake, it was definitely designed on a Millennium Falcon, wasn't it? it had to have been. Yeah, it just. Oh. Did they claim it was? What a brilliant idea! Did, it, did they claim it was? Did they say or not? No, they don't. know. it's just. Everyone who sees one goes, it's the Millennium Falcon. Well, of course it is. It is the Millennium Falcon. So this is like, a, they call it the Groove Center. So it's a bit like the Zoom Arc, if you've seen one of our previous videos on that. So you've got a synthesizer, you've got a sequencer. What else have you got? Oh yeah, you've got a sampler. There's loads of stuff. Uh, going on a different note, you can, if you want it to be portable, you can run it on batteries. Oh, that's why it's handy. It's got a built-in speaker, which actually sounds... Yeah, it's not bad. It sounds really good. Or you, 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 you can use your headphones. Yeah. Uh, around this side, you've got all, you've got your USB, if you want to load your own samples, or there's a mic in or a line in to sample into it. Obviously, your line out, your headphone out. Oh, so you can put analog straight in. Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, and then polyphony, it's got, you can have 36 notes of polyphony, and it's multi-timbral. So there's there's loads of different options for that. It's really good. So the price, dude, I was surprised at how much they were originally. We only know in dollars. That's the only price oh, I could oh, find. I haven't got a clue, but we've got to be looking at three hundred and fifty pound. I uh, I uh, no, are we talking about or second hand? New, new. Yeah, three hundred and fifty, four hundred pound. You're pretty much spot on because the, the the price I could find was three hundred ninety nine dollars. Okay, which oh, is which is so about three hundred and fifty pound. Yeah, yeah, you're, so, spot, yeah. you're spot on. Well, it looks like that's what it's worth to me if I was, you know. Second hand prices. Well, okay, it's got to be a hundred and fifty quid. Yeah, yeah. I think if you can if you can find one like this one came with a box and a manual, everything with it, it was mint. Because they failed, didn't they? Yeah, this was a bit like the Zoom Arc. It was it was far out, man. It was like yeah, it was it, which is great. It's, we it's, like far out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's just completely different, uh, especially from a galaxy far, far, far away. Yeah, it's it's just uh, I like these quirky designs. It's it's just something different. Okay, it may not have done that well, mm. but it was brilliant. I, I forgot to ask when, when did it come out? Any ideas? Does, oh, it, does well, it look well, brand well, new or a few well, years well, old? Well, I would have said it came out around about the time the film came out. But um, okay, you said it's got USB. Yeah, so it's gonna um, be Christmas, I'm, yeah. Oh, well, I'm gonna say uh, okay, nineteen ninety nine. I'm gonna say. A lot later, 2015. Oh, really? So it's about, okay. what were you saying, about seven years old? Oh, really? Well, it looks older because, by default, it looks like the Millennium Falcon. It's, it's like, bound to look older, ain't it? So when Han Solo was going, I've got to make a tune, this is what he grabs for. And when he said, I've got a bad feeling about this, I think he knew he was going to make a video on it. That's right. And then just one last thing to say, Casio, same kind of box, they did like a DJ version. Oh, 
oh yes they did didn't they where you put an iphone on it or yeah and the dj version because this one's obviously got all the sounds and that built in the dj version is in black mm. and it's just literally con a controller and like jay says you use it with your iphone so that's pretty cool as it well it's cool yeah it's and really cool it, it's even got a bracket that mounts on it so that you can have your iphone fixed onto it or your ipad or whatever i guess well, I don't know if it had an iPad bracket, but it certainly had one for mobile phones. Yeah, mobile phones. And I think there's there's demos on YouTube. We can put a few links up for you. And you can link this one and the DJ one together so you can mix between them. Yeah. But it's just a really unusual piece of gear that you should really know about. It's groovy. It's, it's unusual. It's groovy. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, we hope you find that interesting. And uh, at least the music started right at the beginning of the video, so you didn't have to wait all the way through it. So I think we should do, Miss Chum, is uh, for you to hit a button and play us out. But on that note, it's goodbye from me at this edition. Take the fear out of gear, chasing bangers. And it's goodbye from me, Mr. Chumley Warner. Take it away, dude.